Hello, this is George and welcome to the second part of our tutorial series How to create a house for empires in ruins At first let's jump into GIMP which is the tool that we will use to prepare our textures I will assume that you know how to create a seamless texture that is tiling perfectly well, if you don't, there is a multitude of tutorials on the internet that you can find on how to do that exactly. The maps I will be creating using GIMP is a normal map, but I use a normal map plugin, a free plugin for GIMP that is on the internet, an albedo map, which is similar to a diffuse map, but has less contrast, essentially. There are no absolute blacks or absolute whites on it, what you try to simulate when you make a map like this is uh, the surface as it is with the absence of light information. And last but not least, a roughness map that is essentially similar to a specular map, though it is inverted. So whites will represent the rougher parts of your object and blacks the most shiny parts of your model. A side note that I forgot to mention uh, earlier is that what I will be showing you here is the process I use to prepare my source materials that I later feed to Substance Painter to finalize the texturing of my model. What I do here is testing the maps we created earlier in GIMP inside Blender Cycles so that we make sure they work properly and avoid any mistakes that will cost us time and effort. In order to build this shader I use a custom Fresnel node that I found out how to create by following a Cinecut Pro tutorial to which I will be posting the link below. Make sure you check it out if you're interested in uh, physically based uh, shading in Blender Cycles. Now, uh, let's jump into Substance Painter. You will see me importing the maps we created earlier in GIMP and loading them into a basic material which I will use as a base material to fill uh, the appropriate parts of the model. Besides the procedural materials I'm using here already existing inside Substance Painter you will see me using maybe some other textures that I use the same techniques I showed you earlier to create. For further information on how to use Substance Painter I strongly encourage you to visit Allegorithmic's YouTube channel. The tutorials there are quite good so make sure you check them out.
Well now, since we finished the texturing in Substance Painter, let's jump back into Blender and uh, set up the shader so that we can check out how these textures we painted work out or not and adjust accordingly. Well, this summarizes uh, the tutorial so far. Get ready for the next part of the tutorial that we will deal with hair particles with which we will build the thatch for uh, our model and finalize the rendering. Thank you for watching and uh, feel free to comment below. Bye bye!